Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Today, we're going to study the Microsoft Security Operations Analyst Certification Guide. Just kidding. It's your boy, Secret Letters. And if this is your first time watching, I can't promise that the jokes will get better, but your bug bounty and hacking skills will. So let's cut through the smoke and talk about a recent vulnerability in Adobe Cold Fusion. Now, nobody really knows what Adobe Cold Fusion actually does. So we're not gonna spend a whole lot of time talking about that, but the vulnerability in Adobe Cold Fusion is related to an access control bypass, which means that it allows an unauthorized user to bypass security measures and gain access to restricted areas of an application. Now, doesn't that sound way better than studying for the Microsoft Security Network System Admin Operations Compliance Officer exam? I think it does. So this vulnerability exploits a specific URL path in Adobe Cold Fusion. So when an attacker accesses the following URL path, the security measures in place fail to block the request. Oh my gosh. That's going to allow the attacker to reach the expected endpoint. And this happens even though the URL path is technically not valid. So the Cold Fusion software has this following method that tries to clean up URL paths by removing the double dots and the preceding path segment. In this case, the method transforms this path to this path. And this transform path is not matched against the restricted path allowing the user to bypass access controls. So we can demonstrate this vulnerability by using a simple curl command. For example, when attempting to perform a remote method call on the following endpoint, following curl command can be used with the double dot notation. So you're probably wondering, secret letters, how can I find this vulnerability? Well, my friends, let me flip my screen around and show you guys what's going on in my Kali Linux. Now don't judge me guys because my desktop is a complete mess of random bash scripts, Python scripts, but somewhere in here, I have a word list of domains. And that word list consists of almost 2000 items in there of domains and IP addresses. And I want to know if any of these targets are running Adobe Cold Fusion web servers. And at this point of recon, I don't care about knowing anything else about them because I'm looking for a specific vulnerability. So to help me with my recon, I created the following bash script. Now, this bash script automates the process of identifying web servers running Adobe Cold Fusion. What it's going to do is it's going to read a list of targets, either IP address or domain, because I have a word list containing both. And then it's going to run a curl command looking for HTTP headers, specifically headers related to Cold Fusion. And if it finds anything related to Cold Fusion servers, it's going to print the output in green. If not, it's going to print everything else in red. And again, it's going to read a word list called updated domains.txt. So if I run this bash script, here you can see that it's printing out domains that are not related to Cold Fusion in red. And if it finds anything in my hunt related to Cold Fusion web servers, it's going to print it out in green. So if we're looking for CVE 2023-38205, the vulnerability in Adobe Cold Fusion is servers 2023 update two and earlier, 2021 update eight and earlier, 2018 update 18 and earlier. So super simple to begin our recon process in understanding what we're looking for in our hunt. Now you can learn more about this vulnerability and other hacking topics for practically nothing over on Patreon. I do think the minimum for access is 50 cents, 
but every little bit helps guys because it helps me pay my girlfriend to edit all these videos for me. So thank you for all the support over there on Patreon. But honestly, I do think that she might be getting laid off soon. But anyways, don't tell her I said that. In the next video, we're going to build out more recon around using the curl command. So stay tuned for that. And until then, I'll see you guys out there on the hunt.